What is going on, Draw It To crew? Welcome to Draw It To. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How To Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your artistic skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, comics, or books. So if this is your first time here and you wanna see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell icon so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens for inking afterwards. We all draw at different speeds, so as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. And if you find that this video is still going way too fast, remember that you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video to slow it down. Also keep in mind, one more thing, results will vary. So if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely, completely acceptable as well. So having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so for Loki, I've got my paper in portrait mode. What we're going to do is we're going to be drawing up to mid thigh for Loki and let's get started. We're going to be first drawing a circle right not too far up because we need to make some room for the horns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle about this big right around here. So it's got some distance up from the top and we're going to have him facing uh, this direction somewhat. Uh, so now let's shape the face and Tom Hiddleston course is the person who plays Loki and what we want to do is make sure that we've got the same like long face that Tom Hiddleston does so he's got a pretty long face it looks like this and let me zoom in a little bit you guys notice that I've kind of um, positioned the chin so that it's it, it's closer to the left side than it is to the right now speaking of um, as I always mention when I do these tutorials for movie characters, it doesn't matter if it looks nothing like the actor because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a um, just a general likeness of the character and not so much the character the, the person that is portraying the um, the the character. So let's uh, let's keep it at that. So here's the neck. I'm gonna keep the neck down like this. He's it, the neck is gonna be covered by um, <clears throat> sorry, it's gonna be covered by his hair. Okay, so let's zoom out and let me show you guys how to draw the body. Okay, so let's draw some shoulders. And for these shoulders, they're not as broad as Thor's. So if you guys remember, Chris Hemsworth is a lot more uh, muscular and Loki is sort of like the lean and lanky one. So it's gonna be like that. Don't worry about finding the shoulders for now because, well, we're gonna figure out the torso first and then we'll figure out um, where the shoulders and the arms go. Okay, so I'm finding some spots here and here, and these are going to be for his chest, all right? And I'm gonna continue this line down. This is gonna be the middle line for the chest and the torso. And as you guys notice, it is uh, this right here, this little area is a lot smaller than this area over here. And I'm just gonna keep uh, doing that. I'm gonna draw a line across just to get a sense of where the chest is gonna go, because generally this is where the chest starts and then right here, Okay, pay close attention to the size of the chest. You don't want that chest to be bigger than the, uh, than the head. That's gonna be uh, the bottom of the chest. And then the torso is gonna go right around here. So there you go. So that's like the, the general look for Loki. And then he starts to get a little bit wider as you go down. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit. I'm gonna bring this, um, the waist, the waistline is probably gonna be right around here where it is the uh, tightest where it is it goes the closest together and then it starts to go uh, apart Okay, so try to get that and try to get that sense of like lanky and skinny look for Loki um, I actually do have the action figure right here to help me out as a guide, but take a look at um, How skinny Tom Hiddleston is right here in here. He doesn't really have that much of a, a chest now I'm not a big fan of this design as much as I am of the old design which is this one the gray and gold and green. I would prefer this look for Loki. And with his jacket, you can actually see it's a, it, he's got a little bit more of a V shape here on, along the waist. So I don't know you guys, which one, tell me in the comments, which one do you prefer this look or this look? Of course, we haven't really seen the movie yet. So anyway, hello, there they are. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. So let's leave it at that. We're going to draw some half circles, half ovals, 
for the shoulders here and here, okay? So that they line up along the chest line. Okay, I want this arm. Now we don't have to worry about like uh, defined arms because Tom Hiddleston is not very, I mean, he's not the most muscular. He's actually pretty skinny and that actually works to his character. So there's that and then this arm. You wanna make sure that this arm doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't go any closer to the body. So it actually goes out more. There you go. And then this right here, it doesn't go closer to the body either. There's the forearm. And then I'm just gonna leave it like that. We'll worry about the hands. Actually, you know what? Let's make the hands. This goes like this for now. And this goes, there's the thumb. And then those are the rest of the fingers, the rest of the hand. Okay. So now let's kind of start putting in the, um, well, the, the costume essentially. And let's start with the face and let's figure out where to put uh, Loki's helmet. And his helmet, sometimes he wears it, sometimes he doesn't. I prefer, I, I kind of like the helmet look, the big horns, but um, I also, yeah, like I, I like it because of the, the comics. So what I'm going to do now is, because, uh, is draw a line for the eyes. And I got to figure that out right here. Okay. Now we might need to like usually we might need to enlarge the head a little bit just to get the proportions right. Okay, there's the line for the eyes and then the nose is gonna be here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna draw that pointy nose that Tom Hiddleston kind of has. So that's gonna be like a slight little angle, a little straight line across there. And then this goes this way. So it makes this shape right here. And then he's kind of got a long, bridge. There's that bridge of the nose right there. And then the eyes are going to go. We're just going to find a placement for the eyes. One here. And this one is closer to the face and it's a lot smaller. One there. And then you just keep working at it. Um, like I've been drawing for a while and I still don't get it right. So I don't know if I'm doing anything right, to be honest. Um, there you go. And then here's, you just keep working at it and keep fixing it until you get a nice, nice look. Uh, a look that you're happy with. And as you guys can see, it, it looks nothing like Tom Hiddleston. And I'm not too worried about that. Okay, there you go. And I'll leave it like that for now. What I actually want to do is I want to create the helmet that goes over his face. And I'm gonna start off by drawing um, an angled line going from the center, uh, kind of going out this above the eyes on both sides, like that, like a unibrow, okay? I'm going to draw the, his mouth kind of goes, it's got that smirk. So what I'm going to draw is a straight line that's neither smiling nor frowning. Actually, I'm going to make it a slight V so he's kind of smiling. Okay. There you go. I'm going to draw a line right here until it goes past the chin, the jawline. And one more, same side or on the other side, same distance like that. Okay, so now we're going to close this. There you go. And then on this side, I'm going to erase the side of the face. See that slight curve right there? And then a straight line going like that. There you go. I'm going to shape Loki's chin a little bit. Give his lower lip some definition. There you go. So now we got that. We're not quite done. So as you can see over here, it's not very good. It's not very accurate, but this is what we're trying to draw here. And then over here, it sort of just goes up like this. So let's work on that. Just along the side of the face, not too far away. Line going down like this and then like this, it almost looks like Magneto's helmet. And then right here, but that's that far out. And then it just gradually goes like this, okay? So that's, that's good. That's what we, that's what we got. Now continue this going from here, going outward like this. And this, it seems like 
it does this in the back. That's going to be covered by the horn anyway. Don't worry about it for now. And this goes out like this until it makes that shape. There you go. And then we're going to make another V shape from the top of the nose right here, going outward like this. And then it sort of goes a little bit lower down. And then it goes out again like that. And then we do it again here, another V. Okay. At the top, so we've got this line right here. What you want to do is you want to create a line going down this way to the center, like a triangle from this tip down here and then going back up over here. And there you go. Got a little bit of a curve right here. And then now let's work on the horns. The horns kind of, let me zoom out now for this. The horns, what we want to do is we want to create this, like a, like an L shape there and then an L shape over here, or a J, I guess you could call it on this side. And what you want to do is you want to go from here and you want to create this curve going up and you want, um, you want this to be about like the top of the horns to be about the length of the head or the size of the head. So here's the head. I'm going to double that. That's where, that's how far I want the horns to be up at the top. Okay. So use the head as a reference and you just double that size and that's how far you want the horn to go. Okay. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make my way up and then I go back over here and then I, like I said, we cover this corner and then we work our way up and it gets narrower as you go up to the top. You don't want it to go too fat. It should be big and then it gets narrower as you go all the way up to the top. For this one, you want that horn to curve in like that. So this goes up. And then once you reach this, you go in like this. Same thing on this side. Now let's work. Let's make this one go further out. Of course, over here, you don't really, you don't see the horn moving towards you and then up, but that's what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. So it goes, it goes out and then it sort of makes this curve like this. Okay. You want to try to keep those curves the same height as this one. So just keep working at it until you get a good shape. And remember that as you go higher up, it gets skinnier and skinnier. So you'll probably, I mean, it's going to be hard to try to get it right the first time, but you'll probably need to work at it um, for a little bit, erase a couple of times in order for you to get the right shape. There you go. So I might, I probably need to move this a little bit more this way. I mean, take a, take a step back and make sure that what you are drawing is symmetrical or it would, or that it looks right. when compared to the other side. Okay, there you go. I'm going to erase this line here and just create reinforcements. I'm going to bring the hairline a little higher up. It's got some hair and the helmet goes around the head. You'll see it go around the head right there. Okay. Right here, you'll see a little bit of the, um, this part, see right here. So that's what this is. And then you see the, the hair kind of going down this side. So this helmet is different than this helmet in that you see that you see the ears and you see the, um, it's, it's less of a helmet, more so like a tiara, I guess. And this is more like a helmet. So there you go. And then over here, the hair goes out on this side as well. Now I'm going to draw a line faint line from here, kind of going down the middle of the horn, going up and then same thing from here, from this side goes to the middle and then you just work your way up until you reach the top. Okay. Not quite done. Let's work on some details. There's just, we follow this curve. It goes like that and then down and then you 
work your way up again. There you go. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. There. You know what? While we're here, let's just work on the face. Let's give him some eyebrows. Make sure those eyebrows are angry looking. So you want them pointing downwards towards the center and they go higher up as you go out. You want those eyes to kind of just be right there. If you want him to look like he's looking up, you want those pupils to be narrow. There. Some bags under the eyes. Wrinkle right here. Like I said, it looks nothing like Tom Hiddleston, and I'm not too worried about that. Okay, maybe I gave him too much, too much wrinkling. Okay, there you go. And then for the hair, let's just have the hair going slick back. And then it goes down this way. It kind of curls as you go out. He does have some natural curly locks. But for the most part, it goes out like this and then kind of curls as well. So it goes out and curls. There you go. That's as good as we're going to get with the face. I've actually tried to draw the face several times to make it look like Thor, Hiddle, uh, Thor like Tom Hiddleston, but um, I didn't succeed. Well, I guess I could have tried harder. All right, so now let's focus on the body. This is what it looks like right now. Let's work on the shoulder pads and then the chest. And we're going to start right here with the neck. The neck is going to go down to this line from here. It's a curve. It's think of a circle that goes around and then comes to a point right here. Okay. We're going to bring two lines going up from there. And then this goes around again. Those are going to be some collars. They stand up. So you want to draw them standing up like that. And double them because that's what it looks like in the costume. There you go. Underneath that, he's got this V. So draw two Vs like this. And then close them up like that. Part of the design of his new costume. And now let's work on the shoulder pads or shoulder. Yeah, shoulder pads. This one curves this way and then it makes its way down to the shoulder. So actually, yeah, just draw it going like that for now. What you want to do is you want to create this um, line right there. And you do the same thing on this side. Well, not so much, but just keep that line. You'll need it. Okay, this goes across. So the shoulder pad actually goes a little higher up. Not too much. Like that, okay? And then this goes straight this way, this way, and that way. So it creates this point right there. Now I'm going to create another similar shape as this. And then inside, line like this, and then I follow it, same thing. Now you want these layers to overlap each other. So I create this staircase right there. There you go. Now he's got some very intricate designs over here, which uh, I can't really tell what they are because we haven't seen the movie yet as I publish this video. Okay, now this, I start over here. Like that. And then I bring this down to the same, um, actually right there, to there. This goes this way and up like that. So these two lines should be parallel. Okay. I draw another line right here. It's really right there. This goes up as well, parallel to that. This goes like this, parallel to this, but you'll notice that this is skinnier than this right here. And then this goes up. I'm going to bring it about that far above the shoulder. And then from here, I draw a line from here going this way, kind of going in between. Actually closer to here. And then make your way up. And this one doesn't go as high up. So you create this staircase right here. And then you draw another from here. This goes out this way and up. 
and then this goes higher up now and then the other side is lower okay so right here goes down up and then down those are the shoulder pads on the other side and there you go so now we've got this um, shoulder pads let's kind of work on the the chest area now it's good to know where the chest is but we don't really there's really no definition so I'm not going to worry about too much about the placement of the chest but what we need to do is we need to double up on this line right here and then underneath this V I'm going to start I'm going to go from here down to the armpit okay I'm going to draw two lines and then I'm going to draw a line above that right here and I kind of adjusted this line that goes this way I brought it in a little bit closer that's where you want it to go and over on this side um, find a point right here and you just draw a line going straight down uh, he doesn't have it like he doesn't have it on this side so take a look at this you'll see that he's got this line going down over here but you don't see it on this side so that's what this is I'm gonna draw it from here going straight down there you go okay another line going across and you want to try to keep these consistent this is tinier but this one and this one you want to try to keep them all kind of the same size and you draw two lines each time one two and then one more going down this way there you go okay when you get to this side it actually goes across so this goes across this goes across and this makes a make some room for the armpit now you want to change this up you don't want it to look all straight so you want to start creating creases like that and creases along the armpit and then over here it's it's kind of leathery so it's a lot a little more straight there you go. I'm gonna bring that in. There. So that's what that looks like. And then let's keep working our way down around here. Okay, so you should have um, you should you should have this point right here where like we have that belt. I'm gonna draw a line going like this, but I'm going to bring it back up over here. So it looks like a V shape, and we're drawing this part now. And then beneath it, a steeper V shape. It goes up this way. It makes its way down. As you guys can see right here, it makes its way down. Down this way and this way into a curve almost. And then here into a curve. And then this goes across like this. Across and across. This is sort of acts as Loki's belt. It does resemble the letter M. M for mischief, I guess. There you go. I double that up. So I just draw the outline on the inside. All the way out. Okay. So this, we continue that going this way. And now we work our way down here, down here you'll see he's kind of got two things going out this way one and then one line right here and then this kind of overlaps like a layer and then same thing on this side it goes from here down this way and then goes across like this so this is like the bottom of his jacket or whatever you can call it, the bottom of his costume at the top here okay and then um, this actually goes, this line right here goes down this way and then it goes back like that so that it overlaps. So it looks like this. And there you go. And then he does have, you know, I'm going to draw this line going down and across. And he does have a line going across too, right here. Okay. 
zooming out, that's what it looks like. And his crotch is going to be right around um, about this far down. So this, like this is his belt line. So his pants actually start off up here. So by the time you reach this point, you don't really see the crotch is already kind of covered. I'm just going to draw that. Those two lines is the underwear lines. And then here are the thighs that goes like this. And this goes down like this. He's not wearing tight pants either. That goes like that. And then this one right here, I'm going to draw this line. That's the crotch. And then this goes down like that. Okay, let me fix this up. I'm going to draw a little, just a wrinkle or two, two wrinkles there. And then a seam going down. And then now he's got a seam going down over here as well. With one, two, three lines going across over here. And then right here, the seam, you don't really see much of it. That's where it is. And then one, two, three. Okay, so there you go. Those are his pants. As far as I can tell. Now let's work on the arms. I'm going to grab another pencil. Let's work on the armor plating that covers his um, shoulders first. It goes down this way and then across the shoulder. Sorry, my bad. Down, across, and then kind of part of the bicep. And then as soon as you were like at the mid lower bicep, what, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, right here. <laughs> This goes this way and then it goes across. Okay. Now continue drawing these lines that look like plating that goes like that, like that, that, and one more up like this. Now I purposely avoided this for now, but what I want to do is I want to create a definite shoulder right here. And then these ones go down a little bit more, but they overlap each other. So it looks like this. There you go. Okay, armpit. Um, there's really, it's really hard to figure out what's on the um, bottom of that, like on this side. But I believe he's got a, he's got a, a pattern that goes across the bicep like this, and then a whole bunch of diagonal lines going this way. Okay, so here's the bicep. For reference, he's got a diagonal line going this way. Excuse me, I just burped. Oh my goodness. Uh, this way and this way. I did have, I did just have lunch, you guys. Sorry about that. Okay, let's worry about that for now or a little bit later. Well, let's draw the gauntlet. The gauntlet starts here. It goes out like that. And then it goes down towards this part of the, of the hand. And then it goes back up to the wrist. Okay. And this actually only covers part of the wrist. Sorry, you guys. And then straps right here. Strap, strap, and then I'm going to do another strap going down or going over here. Okay, so there's the gauntlet. He's got a diamond shape right here. And then a triangular shape right here. More, more like a parallelogram. And then the bottom part is its own piece. Looks like that. Okay, so now let's work on those lines, those diagonal lines. Can you guys see what I did there? I segment them and then I just continue working my way all the way up to the top. One, two, three, and it just continues. I believe that's what it looks like. Okay. Right here, let's just make a fist. Let's not worry about anything else. He does have two daggers, um, but let's not worry about drawing those daggers now. So here's here's the thumb right there, shape the thumb. Here is the finger corner. Now we got this part. Let's make one, two, three, four knuckles. Okay, the thumb is covered. Okay, so that goes like that, down and then I just draw this for the for the hand. 
for the for the thumb. This is actually this continues, so it looks like that. That's fabric right there, and then he's got like a um, an, something that covers the back of his hand. Kind of looks like a bar of soap, and then just straps going around it. So that goes like this actually from here. It goes out like that. And then at the bottom, I just draw the finger. I always butcher the hand, you guys. I apologize. I need to get better at teaching you how to draw a hand as simple as possible. It's always hard with these time constraints. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> it's not the best hand, and I apologize. Okay, so we work on doing the same thing on the other side. I'll be talking less now. And just observe what I do. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, it looks like that. And then here, you don't really see much of it. And then here it goes like this. And then... There you go. Okay, from here, it goes up to the armpits. From the armpits, I'm going to draw these wrinkles. Wrinkles right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back over here and it looks like there's some sort of line going across like this still. So I'll do that right here. There you go. Okay, and then now, uh, worry about that later. Here's the bicep. I'm gonna start off the diagonal line right here and then draw some more diagonal lines. As you go up, you segment them like this. Okay, keeps going. Okay, now right here, let's work on the gauntlet, the gauntlet round, straight, this goes around like this, this goes like that, actually you want the gauntlet to stick out a little bit more, like that, okay, this part is its own thing, and then the diamond shape, There you go. And then some straps. Three straps. And then I just continue these lines. There you go. And then lastly, the hand. All right, so I'm actually adjusting my hand position uh, from the reference photos that I have, because in the reference photos, he, are, he is holding some daggers. And you know what? Maybe let's draw a dagger on this hand instead, but the other hand won't be holding a dagger. Okay, so here, here's the, like the big fat part of the thumb. And then goes out, the thumb goes out like this. This goes like this. So that's part of the palm. And now let's draw the daggers from here. Kind of draw an oval with two lines coming out. And these daggers are kind of weird looking. They look like they're two separate blades. So I'm going to draw a line going down the middle. And then here's one blade. And then the other blade is a little bit longer and it goes like that. Okay. And then they meet in the line here in that oval, adjust that oval, make a handle going this way. And then over here, obviously you don't see much of it, but you do see the, the pad that goes to the back of the hand. And then now right here, fingers, Here's the thumb, right? Fix that thumb. Let's fix that thumb. So here's a, here's the nail. Here's the knuckle. And then now the fingers kind of go one, two, and then three, and then the fourth one right here. There you go. I'm butchering it again, you guys. Sorry about that. So here's one finger, and then here's another finger, another finger, and one more right there. Okay. And that's it. So zooming out, i um, just going to cover this up. He does have fabric right there. Let's zoom out. And once you do, you should be finished. This is, that's pretty much it. So all in all, you guys, Took a lot longer than expected, but that is how you draw Loki from 
the upcoming movie, Thor Ragnarok. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. All right, you guys, uh, sorry, I was as I was inking, I just completely, completely realized, and I, I have no idea how it went past me, that um, Loki has a cape, and we completely forgot to draw the cape, so let's draw the cape right now. I just completely remembered it when I started inking the face, so I kind of have the head halfway inked, and then I realized, you know what, this guy has a cape and we have not drawn it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this. This goes out like this, okay, and then I'm going to... Do another one right here, and then just a bunch of lines going down as wrinkles. Okay, right here as well. So one going down like this, and then right here, and I want this one to kind of go this way. So right there, and then he's got a dark part in his cape. This is going to be the dark part, and then he's got a lighter part in the cape. Look, I, as I was holding this, I just I'm realizing now he's got. He's got this cape, so he's got um, a greenish part in the back and then a yellowish part in the front. So there's that. Oh man, I can't believe I missed that. And there you go. Of course, right in between the legs as well, the cape. And I mean, that's all there is to it, really. So I hope that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the inking part, and stay tuned for more Thor Ragnarok tutorials coming. Not this month, but next month as the movie is released. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So there's three different ways that you can send your drawings my way. Number one, you can post it in the Google Plus community for me to see and for everybody else in the community to see. You can also post it on Instagram and tag me, or you can email it to me at drawto at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing all of your artwork. Now, if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a kit.com link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and find out what I use to run this YouTube channel. Now, what you see right here is me inking this artwork. If you want to see a longer version of this inking process, make sure to head on over to patreon.com slash draw it to become one of my patrons. This is one of the perks that you get and uh, if you guys do want to support this channel even more, yeah, make sure to head on over to patreon.com. There's different rewards that you will receive if you do decide to um, support me through Patreon. If you're curious about other ways to support this channel and to keep it sustainable, I have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And you can also buy some of my art prints in my art store, my online art store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Be sure to check out my art store often because I regularly post brand new stuff that is available for you guys to purchase. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are found in this channel. Finally, before I go, I want to say thank you to these lovely people who have decided to become my patrons. And yes, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.